In this video, we're going over camera tips and tricks on the Samsung Galaxy A12. Welcome back to another video by H2 Tech. I'm your tech guy, Wayne, and if you learned something new in this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button below and consider hitting the thanks button to leave a tip. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. And lastly, make sure you follow me on Amazon for my best tech recommendations and for notifications about when I go live. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I've got a, a great list of some cool tips and tricks to learn on your Samsung Galaxy A12. And the first one is a tip called quick launch camera. And this is basically being able to launch your camera from any screen at any time. So no matter what you're doing, if you just hit the power button twice on the side here, it'll automatically take you out of whatever you're doing and take you right to the camera. Even if your phone is totally off, and guys, I want you to know, I did clean this screen before I started the video, but this phone is a fingerprint magnet, so forgive me for the fingerprints. But even if the screen is off, if I hit that power button twice, it will automatically turn on the phone and take me right to the camera. So this is a great way to make sure that you never miss any important moments. No matter what you're doing, just hit that power button twice and it will jump you right to the camera. And now that we're in the camera, let's go ahead and talk about a few more of the cool things you can do with the camera. So the next thing is something called a palm selfie, and this should already be turned on in the settings, but if it's not, you would just go to the settings wheel. From here, we're gonna go to shooting methods, and then make sure show palm is enabled on your phone. And what's gonna happen is, um, let's say we're on a selfie, if I take my hand and just put it in the frame, it'll automatically start a timer and it will just uh, get ready to take a picture. So let me try one more time. Here's my hand, smile, and there's my picture. So all you do is raise your hand up, the camera will read that your hand is up and it will know to automatically trigger the timer. So it's a cool way if you have your uh, phone set up and you wanna get a picture with multiple people in it, you can just set it up and just raise your hand and it will take that selfie. Now, uh, I haven't tested it from very far away. I've always tested it from up close. So I believe as long as you're not too far away, it should be able to read your palm and take that picture. Moving on, our next tip, and this is one of my favorite, and I use this all the time. It's called focus lock. Now, uh, oftentimes your phone is trying to figure out what to focus on at any given time and it will sort of uh, decide what is the most important thing to focus on. For example, right now I put this mouse in the frame here. So it's gonna focus on that, but as I shift away, it's gonna begin shifting the focus. Um, one thing you can do is you can basically press down on, an, on the screen here, and if you hold down for about one second, it will enable what's called focus lock. So you can say, hey, whatever shows up in this little circle, I want you to focus on that. So right now it's focused on the mouse because the mouse is what's right in that little circle. But as I shift the phone away, now the mouse isn't in focus, now it's something else. And so what's gonna happen is the lighting is all gonna adjust based on what is in that little center circle. So this is a great way to keep your focus in that very specific spot. Now, what if I am wanted to focus on what's in the back here instead? I can hold down on this to move the focus lock, and if you notice, the brightness turned up a lot because now my focus is not on the mouse, it's actually on these headphones in the corner of the screen here. So wherever I hold down the screen, it's gonna make that my focus lock, it's gonna adjust all the lighting and the focus to make sure that um, is the clearest uh, part of the picture. So this is a great way to uh, really customize your uh, pictures and really make sure the focus is where you want it versus the phone trying to decide where is the best place to focus. So that is called focus lock. Moving on to number four, this is a really cool feature that will allow you to quickly switch from uh, taking pictures to taking videos in seconds. So right now, if I wanted to take a picture of something, let's say this little uh, leaf right here, you know, I'm on the photo mode, 
And just in case you didn't know, just by swiping over, this is how you get to the video mode. You just swipe over. I can swipe back here. Now I'm on photo again. I can swipe over to get to the portrait mode. So, but if I'm on the picture mode and I'm just snapping pictures, and let's say all of a sudden something dramatic happens and I want to switch to taking a video, all I have to do is hold down on the shutter, just keep your finger on it and it will automatically start recording. And for those of you guys that have kids, you know, you start out taking a, a picture of a cute moment and then they all of a sudden start saying something cute or doing something cute and now you want to switch. Well, you don't need to, you know, switch to video here and then hit the button. It's literally just, you're snapping away. Oh, that's cute, that's cute. And then just hold and then it will just automatically start recording. Now in this particular setting, it's gonna record until you let go of the button. So as soon as I let go of the button, it's gonna stop recording. But either way, it's a great way to just capture that really quick, important moment just by knowing that you can hold down that shutter to start the recording. So that is what I call just the quick switch from photo to video. Now, um, this next tip is very similar to the last one. We're gonna be using the shutter button, but I'm gonna show you how to take a burst photo, which is how to do one thing and make it take a lot of pictures at one time. So to take a burst, you basically need to swipe down on this little white dot here. So just like this, I'm gonna just quick motion, swipe, and now it's just taking pictures. And it will go, I believe, up to 30 before it runs out. Yeah, so it'll do up to 30 just by swiping down on the button. So normally you would just tap the button to take a picture, but I'm gonna swipe down and I'm gonna hold as long as I hold, it'll take pictures. If I let it go, it will stop. So that's how you switch from taking regular photos to taking the burst mode if you're trying to capture a lot that's happening in a sequence. So really cool feature. Let's move on to our next tip. And this is just something that's gonna help you frame up your pictures better. And it's gonna be turning on what are called grid lines. Now grid lines help you to frame up your shot. Um, you're just gonna go to settings and go to grid lines, um, wrong button, grid lines in here, turn this on. And now you will have these little boxes that show up on your screen to help you um, align your photo properly and make sure your subject is in the middle square. That's how you take the best shot is by, hey, let me make sure that whatever I want to be my main focus of the picture, make sure that is in the main center of the photo. So. We're gonna do that using what are called grid lines. And you can turn it off later if you don't like it, but I think it's just a helpful tool for to help you get better pictures. Now moving on to number seven, this next tip is how to navigate zooming because your phone does allow you to zoom in and out and there's a few different ways you can do it. So right now, I can zoom by just tapping these two buttons here. This will take me to a wide shot right now. So watch this. It's actually gonna zoom out further and it's gonna use one of the other cameras that's on the back. Now obviously we have four cameras here. So this allows you to zoom out and really get a wider shot. And tapping this basically zooms you in. But you'll notice if you hit any one of those buttons, it will give you these other zoom options at the bottom just for a few seconds. So if I just tap on that, now I can do a 2x zoom or a 4x zoom or even a 10x zoom, believe it or not. Now, surprisingly, the 4x is pretty darn clear. So for those of you that want to take macro shots, you can um, use this zoom to get in really close. And I also recommend you swiping all the way over to this more button that will take you to some of the other shooting options that are on the phone. We can tap on macro here and it has a specific setting that's for trying to shoot a super up close picture. And I'm, so what I'm doing right here is just a normal tap to um, focus. But if I wanna use that focus lock, I can just hold down and now it, it will switch to the focus lock. Actually, you may not be able to do that in macro, so I'll take that back. But you can tap in different areas to adjust the focus specifically like that. All right, for our next tip, we're gonna show you how to change the picture aspect ratio 
You have this option at the very top of the screen here that says three, four, and that's basically a three by four aspect ratio. Now, if you tap on this here, you can change it to a few different options. So there is a nine by 16, which is the wide angle um, picture. Then there is the one one by one, which is ideal for taking pictures for Instagram. And then there is a full, which will allow you to take a super wide angle shot, just like that. So those are just some of the different um, options you have to select when you're trying to adjust the aspect ratio. So, and the very last thing, this is a quick one. It's simply, uh, if you wanna switch back and forth between the rear camera and the front camera, all you need to do is just swipe up and it will take you there and then swipe again and it will take you back. So easy way to jump back and forth between the front and rear camera, especially if you're holding the phone in one hand, um, just quick thumbs up and that's it. You're good to go. So this has been our tips and tricks specifically around the camera on the Samsung Galaxy A12. We hope you guys found this helpful. Do me a favor, let me know which tip was your favorite and let me know if there was anything you learned specifically that you did not know. I always love to hear uh, positive comments about things you learned that you didn't know before you saw the video. Um, and one last call to action for you guys is please, if the video was helpful, make sure you like it and make sure you follow us on Amazon. We'll have that link below in the description. We have a cool Amazon Live that we're gonna be starting up. We're gonna be doing frequent lives, showing you all kind of amazing accessories and great phones. And so uh, we don't want you to miss out on it. So make sure you hit that link below and follow us on Amazon so you can get alerted when we go live. Thanks for watching guys. Take care and as always, have a good one.